probability with replacement and without replacement. You will find this on page 650 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. The letters of the word nation are printed on six cards, N-A-T-I-O-N. A card is chosen at random. Write down the probability that it has the letter T printed on it. Okay, let's just make it a bit bigger. Okay. So the first one is very easy. It's just a single event. So basically, so the letter T, how many T's are there? Can you see there's just one? So it's one out of six. Very easy. Um, it does not have the letter N printed on it. So how many is having the letter N? Two. So you can either say one minus two over six, or you can just count the ones without the letter N. And that will be one, two, three, four, and the answer will be four over six, and you can simplify it to two over three. Okay, now it starts. Gabby chooses a card at random. Replace it. Remember, this is now independent. Then chooses a card again. Calculate the probability that only one of the cards she chooses has the letter N printed on it. So make another tree. Okay, so what will the tree be? It's N. It's not in. So remember what I said, never simplify in the tree. You can simplify in final answers. So not in is two out of six. A, uh, oh no, let's, let's start again. I repeat myself. In is two out of six. Not in is four out of six. Okay. Now because it's replaced, if she goes for the second event, it's again N not. Can you see that not? We just make almost like sets the little dash. Okay. So there is the N, 2 out of 6, not 4 out of 6. So exactly what stands there is repeated there. Okay. For only one of the cards she chooses to have the letter N. So Calculate the probability that only one of the cards she chooses has the letter N. Can we find that route again? So, this, then this is an N, but this is not an N. Or, this is not an N, and this is an N. So, basically, it's that two roads. So, it will be 2 out of 6, multiply 4 out of 6. Can you see? Plus, 4 out of 6, multiply 2 out of 6. And I can just simplify it and I get 4 out of 9. Okay. Now, it works in probability like this, especially if they ask it in a higher level uh, question paper, that you can, they can change the conditions and you can draw a new tree diagram. And this is what's happening here. This tree diagram was only for number B, but now they continue and they go to number C. And let's see. Jacob chooses a card at random and does not replace it. So now it, it moves from an independent to a dependent tree diagram. He continues until he chooses a card with the letter N printed on it. Find the probability that this happens when he chooses the fourth card. So he will, he will stop as soon as he has N. But first he will have, so if it's four events, Basically, it will be not in, not in, not in, and then he will have in. Okay, but let's, let's, it's not necessary to draw a tree, but trees usually help you. So, let's just see how we were drawing it here. So, in, not in, that is now, but because it's now dependent, he didn't replace the court, so it's going to be 5, 5, 5, 5. So, assuming he was taking an in, then it's not just there's not two left, but only one. This stays the same. Remember, it must still add up to one. Okay. Now, in this case, it's the same. Okay. So, there is N, not N. So, assume here it was not an, um, this was this, not an N. So, basically, the not an N will now become one less, which is three out of five, and that one will stay the same, just like we completed dependent tree diagrams. And now, 
we continue. So remember, you must have the road. Okay, can I just write it down for you here? That will help you. So, so the first, the second, the third, the fourth. So for him to continue, it must be not an end. Not, remember this dash means not an end. Not, and then the fourth one will be an end. Can you see? So you cannot, com you cannot complete, you cannot continue there because there's already an end. You continue with the not, not, not. So this one breaks up again. As assuming it's, it's not, so it was not three, now it becomes two. This was five, now it becomes four. Okay? And if you continue this, it will be now not two. Okay, let's just, let's just repeat. It will be six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. And the top ones will be four, three, two, one. But remember, it's not this road that we follow. It's this road. And I'm going to highlight it to you. It's the road, that road. So it's going to be not, 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 but then he choose an end. Can you see? What do we do in branches? We multiply. So that's why it was 4 over 6, multiply 3 over 5, multiply 2 over 4, four but now not multiply 1 over 3, but multiply the top, which is 2 out of 3. And that will be your final answer. This is a bit complicated, but I think if you do a few of them, you will start seeing the patterns in the sums. Okay. Stop the video and do try now 17, number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1. And it's again this card. One of these seven cards is chosen at random. Write down the probability that the card shows the letter A. Now this is single, so it's very easy. So probability A, the letter A, and what will be the probability of the letter A? Let's just write it down. It's just going to be very easy. How many A's are there? One, two, three, four. Can you see? Four out of seven. So the probability of the letter A will be four out of seven. Let me just, I'm just going to make that four looking better. Four out of seven. Okay, let's continue. The second one. Shows the letter A or B. It's on, remember, it's, it's addition, so you can say A, it's 4 out of 7. B, how many? 2 out of 7. And if you add it up, you're going to get 6 out of 7. But you can just say, you can even count it there. You don't have to make it complicated. So A or B, you can basically just do it like this. There's the A's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to be 6 out of 7. This is single, not difficult. The third one, does not show the letter B. Now, can you see, does not, so the B's was 2 out of 7. So probability not B. Can you remember? You can just take 1, subtract the 2 out of 7, because there's 2 Bs, and that will give you 5 out of 7. But that's even also complicated. You could have just said not B, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You could have just counted on the cards. I'm just going to clean this, that you can see it nice. Okay, let's go on. Number B. Now it becomes combined events. Two of the cards are chosen at random without replacement. Remember, without replacement is always dependent. So you already know it's dependent. Remember, with replacement is independent. Without replacement is dependent. Both show the letter A. So now I must first start a tree. Let's always start with my tree. It's always easier. Okay. 
Okay, so this was A, and uh, not letter A. I'm going to use again because I showed you in the previous one. So this is A, and as soon as I, it's just like sets, then it's meaning not A. And this is again A, and this is again meaning not A. And this is A, and this is again meaning not A. Do you see that? So basically, how many A's are there? We said it was easy. There was four out of seven. So how many not A's are there? Three out of seven. Remember, it's dependent. They don't replace. And if they don't replace, I'm going to get six as the denominator. So I, I like to write it first for myself down that all of them, the denominators, will be 6. Now, assuming this was an A, then there's not 4 anymore, then there will only be 3. This one I just rewrite. Please don't simplify first. You can simplify final answers. Okay, now cancel the assumption. Assuming it was not an A, so if this was 3, then this is 1 less 2. This stays the same, 4. Don't forget that this must add up to 1, this add up to 1, this add up to 1. If I multiply these four branches individually and add it up, I will always get a certainty of 1. Okay. Now, now we start with the question. Okay, now what is the question saying? The question is saying, both show the letter A. So let's just find that road. It's going to be A, A. So basically it's going to be 4 over 7 multiplied. Let's just write, write it down. Probability both A. And that is going to be 4 out of 7. Multiply 3 over 6, and that is going to give you an answer of 2 out of 7. You can just press it on your calculator. Okay, now the second one. Does not show the letter B. Okay, now if in this case, I've, remember what I said, especially if it starts complicated, you, and I gave you the hint there, draw a tree, a different tree. That was only for the first one. So now I'm going to start by drawing another tree diagram. Two, okay, let me just try to keep that for you. Uh, the two little, okay, where are we now? Does not show, okay, here, here, here. The two letters are both show the letter A. The two letters are different. Okay, now if I look at the tree, so for the first event it's A, B or C. So what was the letters that you see there? So let's, let's draw another tree. There are three different letters. So let's just make the tree. It's going to be one, two, three. And then this one, oh let me just repeat this. I need a little bit more space. So this is going to be one, two, three. This is going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because this is going to be the letters. So let me just write down the letters for you. This is going to be the letters. This is now my different tree. So what letters were there? Um, if I go back and I check a little bit up. Okay, let's just move this a little bit. If I move it up a little bit, I will see there what are the letters. There are the letters A, B, and C. So how many A's are there? It's going to be 4 out of 7. How many B's are there? 2 out of 7. Now how many C's are there? Only 1 out of 7. Okay, now I, I'm going to let you see uh, the two are without replacement. Now remember, this is going to be again A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. So this one is going to denominate this, assuming that it was an A, then it's going to be it's all going to be denominators of 6. So this is going to be 3 out of 6. 
I hope you can see that. Uh, this one is going to stay the same, 2 out of 6. This one is going to be 1 out of 6. Okay, then for this one you assume it was a B, the first letter. So it, this one is going to be 1 out of 6. Always fill in first the one that you assume was taken. So if it's 2, it's 1 out of 6. And then the rest you just repeat. 4, but remember the denominator is 1 less. For this one you assume it was a C, but there was only one C, so this will be 0 out of 6, and this will stay the same, 2 out of 6, and it stays the same, 4 out of 6. Okay, and now I'm going to just write it there. The two letters are different. Now, this is quite challenging, because you have to now think, where because different is quite a lot. The same, the same is there. Can you see I, I? The same is B, B. The same is C, C. But actually different will be this one, this one, this one, this one, just like the previous example. So there will be six. You can multiply all that six branches and add it up. First individually, then add it up. But I think it will be better if you rather do the shortest way. And the shortest way will be like this. Uh, the probability, and you will say um, different colors, I'm just going to move it that you can see, different colors, or oh, different, yes, they're not different letters, let's just repeat that, different letters, Remember what I always say? All these nine branches, after you multiply and you add it up, you will get a certainty. So if I want to find these red dots, I'm going to take the certainty and just subtract the green dots. But how do I find the green dots? I'm going to find it like this. I'm going to say 4 out of 7 multiply 3 out of 6. Okay? And I'm going to do this. I'm first going to add this up. And I'm going to take this one, 2 out of 7, multiply 1 out of 6. And I'm going to add this one, which is going to be 1 out of 7, multiply 0 out of 6. You could have also said without, if you don't want to first add it up, you could have just said 1 minus this bracket, minus this bracket, minus this bracket, but it will give you the same answer. And the final, final answer will be 11 over 21. Okay, but remember, if you were working with this red branches and you were adding it up after you multiplied, you will also get 11 over 21.